Hello everyone, we have the winners of Business Project Prizes 2013 in ITU studio. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Abdullah Rakadi from the Ministry of Health from the Sultanate of Amman. We have uh, Dr. Khalid al from the Minister of Higher Education from okay. Saudi Arabia. And we have Thomas Muller, Deputy Head of uh, Programs from Child Helpline International. My first question will go to the Ministry of Health from Sultanate of Amman. Uh, could you please elaborate more about the health and child system? Thank you, Regina. And I would like to thank ITU for this hosting. And it is a lovely forum being conducted for years now. Uh, Ministry of Health is paying attention to e-health. And in Oman, we do uh, have several uh, applications, which is help on improving health service in Oman. Uh, the big umbrella is the health information management system and part of that is a uh, child and mother uh, health uh, module which is uh, focus on improving the services for mothers uh, from the day of pregnant until the delivery then continues to the babies from uh, zero till five years uh, this system is it gives the continuity of care uh, for the mother f during all the period of pregnancy and till the child of uh, five years old. Uh, the system uh, has uh, several uh, functions and several options such like alerting system electronically while the patient uh, visiting the hospitals. It gives also SMS to notify uh, patients on their uh, appointments or reminding them before 40, uh, 48 hours of the appointments. It is really state of art and we are proud the system is being developed and designed within the boundary of Ministry of Health. So it is a national product. Mm -hmm. uh, it is 100 percent purely made in Oman. Thank you very much. And the next question will go to the Minister of Higher Education from Saudi Arabia. Okay. Uh, Dr. Khalid, what is the impact of the SAFIR program on the information society development? Uh, thank you. Thank you for hosting me and thank you for ITU for this opportunity. Wonderful gathering. Uh, SAFIR program is a realization of a very ambitious vision in the country of Saudi Arabia Kingdom of Saudi Arabia had put a plan, uh, um, an ambitious plan uh, to uh, basically introduce and implement uh, the concept of knowledge societies uh, by the year 2020. And SAFIR program was one of them. The idea was basically to bring the, uh, the, uh, the offering of giving scholarship for s as many uh, citizens as possible if they fulfill uh, the uh, eligibility criteria for getting enrolled into the scholarship program uh, and, and to, f uh, to pursue their uh, higher education studies in terms of uh, either the undergrad level or the master level or uh, the PhD levels uh, in any country that would, uh, would basically provide the higher the education levels that could fulfill the, the um, ambitious uh, vision of, of the kingdom. Uh, those generations of people, as, m as, as they, they evolve, as they get it, uh, educated and introduced to technology, as well as the, the information and knowledge, they will come back to the country and they will perform their duties to the transformation of the society, Saudi society, into a knowledge society. Thank you very much, Thank Dr. Khaled. Uh, the next question will go to Child Helpline International, uh, to Thomas. Uh, Thomas, uh, could you please elaborate more on Child Helpline International? What kind of services uh, Child Health International provide and what is the scope of this project? Yeah, pleasure. Thank you for having us. Um, child Helpline International is a global network of child helplines. Um, we are representing organizations that provide services for children, mm -hmm. um, active listening ch um, services, but as well counseling services or referral services for children that should be accessible free of charge and um, anonymously um, uh, in every country in the world. Uh, currently, uh, we are having a membership of 173 organizations over 142 countries. So what we are doing as a global network is um, we, we provide um, networking opportunities for them, but we as well um, go and take um, the information that children provide, the data, and go to governments and policymakers and, and, and try to flag issues 
in child protection to them and say like if there's um, a peak of calls on a certain topic in a certain country we would like to flag that to governments and say like we have to do something about that um, at the same time we work um, and help our organizations our membership to improve minimum quality standards um, and um, of course we interact a lot with the telecoms world because that's our natural partners these um, helplines are accessible through phone landline mobile sms but as well the internet online chat um, social networks and so on and so forth and um, that's why we are extremely proud to be recognized with the prize of the itu here. thank you very much thomas and the last question will go to all of you what does it mean for you to win the prize uh, and we will start from uh, mr abdullah rakadi what does it mean? It means a challenge. Uh, we are proud that uh, we have been awarded fourth time, fourth time now. Uh, we have uh, been awarded uh, in United Nations twice in 2010 and last year. We have been awarded in uh, national uh, with His Majesty award as a first rank for the e best prayer project. Uh, and now we are in OSIS. It is really give us an opportunity to improve our service. It give us an opportunity to enhance the services. Uh, the, always they are saying it is easy to high the, the high rank, but how to sustain and how to stable it, that is the challenge. So from now, we'll say from now, we'll start to work on improve uh, our services and deliver a better service to the public. Thank you. Dr. Khaled? The uh, winning of the uh, Wishes Prize means a recognition as well as an incentive. It is a recognition of the effort that was put in place by the many Saudi agencies, government agencies, to share the information and to exchange knowledge and to develop and improve the knowledge societies within the country of Saudi Arabia. It also means an incentive, an incentive for us in the Ministry of Higher Education to further develop our services and to do a reach out to as many constituents as possible, in addition to an incentive for other government organizations within the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the region uh, around the country to also compete and to try to reach out uh, in the development of the information and knowledge society. Dr. Khaled Thomas? The Wizards Project Prize is a, is a huge recognition of our work with um, the ITU in the last years. We've been engaged with um, the ITU since 2005. We have worked um, with study group two on, on harmonizing numbers for child helplines. As a result, um, 23 um, children in 23 countries within the EU can reach helplines um, through the same phone numbers. 12 countries in Africa um, can reach um, the child helpline service through 116 and six countries in, th in Southern Asia through 1098. So we have um, worked on this regional harmonization. Um, it's, a, it's a huge recognition of um, the children's rights to be heard, which is a right that is enshrined in the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Children. And it's, a, it's a, a big opportunity for us, but as well a responsibility to keep on working hard with telecoms and with um, operators um, around the world to um, assist child helplines in providing these services. Usually, child helplines operate through um, uh, toll-free numbers, which means at the end of the month, big phone bills to cover if you have big call volumes. And um, uh, we um, work with telecoms and have to keep uh, working with telecoms to partner with our members to um, waive these costs and, and provide free of cost access, not only for children, but as well um, uh, the opportunity to um, uh, uh, free of cost um, operation of the service for the child helpline. Thank you very much, Thomas, and thank you very much to all of you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you very you. much.